Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on this GATE 2022 statistics. Today we will discuss about the question number 30 which is related to the MGF. We will solve it with the help of very shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my telegram channel link, else follow my youtube channel link where you can find the various previous year videos and the tips for the GATE examination. So what is the question number 30th is, if you have the two random variable x and y and the moment generating functions of the x is given to you as m of t and the moment generating function of the y is given to be h of t and the mean and variance of the x that is e of x is given to you half variance of x is given to you 1 by 4 then how you can find the variance of the y so first of all uh, you should you should remember that if you take the first derivative at the point 0 that will give you e of x if you give the if you take the second derivative at the point 0 that will give you e of x square so now here you can see e of x is given to you half that means the first derivative of 0 is given to be this also we know that m of 0 is my one always now how you can find this so first, firstly we will look about this we will try to find the variance of y so what is the formula for the variance of y is e y square minus e y whole scale that's a simple rule now how you can find the value of e y y has the mgf h so we will take the first derivative at the point 0 how you find the y square we will take the second derivative and a 0 that's a simple logic behind that now so, so say start from here so first of all what is the first derivative of h so we can say 3 by 4 e raised to power this plus 1 by 4 and m dash plus if you take the derivative of this so it's 3 upon 2 of m now take the second derivative so what is the second derivative of this it is a 3 by 4 e raised to power 2t plus 1 by 4 of m double dash plus if you take of this it's a 3 by 2 e raised to power 2 times of this plus if you take the derivative of this so first derivative again is a u of uv so it will be my 3 e raised to power 2t times of m plus 3 e raised to power of this m dash that's over now we can check about the h dash 0 so what is the value of the e y so this is my 0 that's a 3 by 4 1 by 4 is 1 what is the m dash is my half so it's 1 of half plus it's a 0 what is the m of 0 is 1 so it's my 3 by 2 so the answer of the mean is my 2 how you can find the e of y square e of y square is double dash at the 0 so this value goes to the 1 what is the m double dash so m double dash 0 is my e x square but e x square is unknown to you we can apply the definition of the variance minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 so what is the e of x square is 2 by 4 is again half so we can substitute here this is my 1 what is the m dash is my half plus m of 0 is 1 so it will be my 3 m dash is my half this is my 3 by 4 so it is my here so what is the answer of this is so it's a 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 1 plus 1 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 plus this one now you can substitute this value here so what is the variance of y e y square that is 4 plus 3 by 4 minus e y square so you can see it will be cancelled out 0.75 is the right answer of this problem so you you should remember that this is the uh, concept behind the mean and variance about the mgf so that's a very simple little bit small calculations are there then you can solve it otherwise you can think about that this is the mgf of what is that this is the mgf of the binomial distribution you may also think about that how you can find the mgf of the binomial distribution so i hope you can simply learn about this concept we will see in next class till then you can simply follow this my playlist uh, gurk statistics where you can find the previous eight videos best of luck students kindly like share and comment these videos happy learning